In this tutorial, we're going to create an Elementor blog post template from the Elementor template library. We're going to customize it. We're not going to build it from scratch. That's for a different video. And this one we're going to use one that exists, customize it to our needs. And I'm going to show you how it all works and how it works dynamically. And what we're going to have when we're all done is a title at the top. This is pulled in dynamically. We're going to have a picture of the author, also dynamic, name of the author dynamic, the content of the post in here, right here, pulled in dynamically all the way down. And then we're going to have author bio pulled in. We're going to have some sharing options. Our latest posts will be displayed here. These will change out as new posts are published. Then we have our comment section where it lists our comments and where we can leave comments. And that's what we're going to be learning right now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I'll try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to building this blog post template. For this to work, we do have to have Elementor Pro because Elementor Pro is what gives us the ability to create templates. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, there's a link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link. If you purchase through that link, I do get a small commission, but it does not cost you more to purchase it. And that money helps me keep making these videos. And when you have Elementor Pro installed, there's a templates option that appears. You go to templates and then theme builder. And in here is where we create our post template. So we go to add new. I'm gonna click on the drop down and select single, which applies to posts or which means posts. And then for post type, we're going to choose post. We're going to give it a name. That's called blog post template. Then click on create template. Now we're loaded right into blocks because we chose to create a post template for a single post. It automatically brings us to here with the single post selected. So you can select any one of these from this list. There's quite a few of them and they come pre-built with headers and images and sharing and comments and things like that. But you can also go over to pages and then search for post because a lot of these pages have posts, post pages as well. So we have this one that we're going to use. I'm going to click on insert. Now we have our post inserted right here. Looks very nice. Share buttons down at the bottom. We're going to customize it now. So now we are going to make it full canvas so that we don't have the header at the top. Although it depends on what your blog design is. You might have want to have the header at the top, but I don't in my case. So I clicked on the gear down below. Under page layout, I'm going to choose Elementor Canvas. And now we have that menu system gone. We have our title here that's auto-created. We're going to make this dynamic by clicking on dynamic tags. I'm going to make this the post title. And now it pulls the miniature donkeys as pets, which is one of our posts. We could also have text before and after the title if we want, or fallback text if for, for whatever reason the title can't be pulled in. I'm not going to fill those in right now. And then for the icon, we could change that by clicking on it. Just choose a plane. That's how easy it is to change the icon. This text right here, this could be the excerpt of your post if you want it. You can choose dynamic and choose post excerpt. Just a little small description right there of it. I'm not going to use this. We can just remove it. It's going to delete that. The image, I'm going to change this to be the image of the author. To do that, we hover over the image, click on the dynamic tag stack. We choose author profile picture right there. It should pull me in. There I am. For the name, by Nick Johnson, choose dynamic. And this will be author name. It just says Bjorn, but I want to have something before that. So I'm going to click on author name on the left again and say by Bjorn. There we go. Now we have these dynamic. Title's dynamic. My image is dynamic. My name is dynamic. Now we want to make the text dynamic, but we can't do that by clicking on the dynamic tags. We have to use a different element. So let's go to search elements. Let's search for post content. Let's drag that in and let's delete this other one. That's just a text field. This is the post content. Let's delete all these ones that we don't need from the sample. Let's get rid of this whole section. Delete that, get rid of that section. Okay, now this is the actual text of the post right here. It's not very much and that's now pulled in dynamically. Every post will be different as you'll see when I show you this template and how it works live, but this is the text of the post. So that's all done right there. Next, we're going to add an author box. 
Gonna search for author box, drag and drop that at the bottom. There it pulls me in. You can choose the current author as the source or a custom author if you wanted. Save you if you have a bunch of writers, but they're ghost writers, but they have an account on your site. So they might log in and post content to their account, but then you want it all to be attributed to you. Then you'd use custom as the source. You just create your own, you write your name, you add a picture, and it'd just be the same author box for every post. For current author, it always chooses the current author as the author of the post. And this looks funny because I'm right here and I'm right here, but most posts have more text than this. So when there's that separation, it's not as strange. After our author box, I wanna add another section and I wanna add posts, our other posts. Let's drag and drop that right in there. And that's too large. Instead of messing around with the template or with the padding and stuff, I'm just gonna duplicate this section and drag posts right in there and delete the sharing. I'm gonna keep that in its own section down below just to keep it organized. Gonna delete the separator. I'll keep the separator. So now I have posts, three posts being pulled in from this blog. These are all the most recent posts when a new post is added. Want to be bumped off and we'd add more there's a lot of settings in this widget i've created a tutorial that's specific about just this widget you can find it in the card up above or the description down below check out that video if you want we're not going to customize this very much in this video but there we have recent posts being pulled in here i have social sharing i actually want to move this over above the posts i want to actually move this keep changing what i'm doing i want to move this above my bio even I duplicate the separator, move it down here. Cause now after they read it, the next thing I want them to see is that they can share the post. That's the next action I want them to take. Then my bio, and then I'll get rid of this section. And then we have our, then we have a recent post down below. I'm going to add a title to it. Drag it right to here. Let's call this recent posts. There we go. And now we just have to add our comments. Post comments. Drag and drop that. I'm just going to duplicate this section again. I find it to be faster. Get our comments, plop them in there, delete all these things. And here we have our comments. And we've now completed the post template we wanted to create. We click on save or publish. We're gonna choose where we want to use it on all posts. That's what we want, save and close. And now if I go back out to the main site, exit to dashboard, go to one of our posts, miniature donkeys as pets, let's view that. And we see our post template in action right here. And we can also go to one of the other posts like intro to donkey tricks. This one's got much more content as you can see, I put some lorem ipsum text in here. This is more like what a real post would look like, where there's a bunch of content all the way down, social sharing, recent posts. So we even have a comment here, so you can see what those look like. And we have our post template completed. Now some blogs, as you know, have a sidebar, some don't. I have a tutorial linked up above where I show you how to create a really cool sidebar where it's just a button on the side that says sidebar, and people click on it, and the sidebar flies in. It's a really cool effect you can do with Elementor Pro, and so check out that tutorial. It's in the card up above in the description down below. And if you want to know how to do more with Elementor, I've got a whole playlist of Elementor Pro and free Elementor. Two playlists. Check them out over here. There's so much you can do with Elementor, and I cover a lot in these tutorials and these playlists. So check those out. And then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.